Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've done a video but uh, I've been busy with the holiday and um, working on some uh, other projects. I want to share this little tag booklet I made and I used um, Jolene's kit from a jewel design. It's, um, I believe it's a touch of, it's called a touch of romance and I'll put a link in the description so you can go right to it. Um, I can't remember how many pages were in it, but it's a lot. It's a huge kit. Okay, here's um, one of the sheets, but I used quite a bit of it. Um, so there's that. So these are my scraps, but I just want to show you this little booklet that I made using her beautiful kit. Uh, let's see. I know I've shown this before. I use the Tonic Studios Keepsake Bookmaker. I use this set. And I couldn't decide on a closure, so I just used some of my, um, I have a little bit left. This is just some vintage um, lace that I have. It's very uh, delicate. And I really like how it looks when you tie a bow with it. So I use that. I have a little bit left. And I think I'm going to try to slide this off. Oh, I better go the other way. I put it a little bit loose so I could just slip it off and not have to tie the bow again. There we go. It's really beautiful lace. It has a really nice feeling to it. It's really pretty. Um, so I use the bookmaker shape uh, and I showed that before. And what I did is I used her background paper. It's got like roses on it. And I printed it on avocado dyed paper so it would give it that vintage look. Um, because the kit is like uh, pink, a lot of pinks. Uh, let's see if I have. Here's one that I printed that on. That's printed on avocado dyed paper. One of the pages there that I didn't get to use. Uh, I won't go through all the pages, but they're like pinks. Um, so yeah, I took one of the background pages like this and I printed it on the avocado dyed paper and that I purchased from I need to get some more um, Mary at a passion for paper shop so right there but I'll put the uh, information and it came with a variety of papers but I mainly use the uh, solid background avocado dyed and I just realized that she had um, some lace in there I could have used that Ooh, I might switch it out I'm not sure okay that's beautiful so I have that and basically it's just a booklet to house tags uh, in uh, so I used one of the images on the front here I printed it on uh, tracing paper and then I die cut it out uh, let's see I have all my it's a momenta and these are just shapes and I use this one here this one here I really like that because it has the decorative edges it's a really cool die set, but I'll put all the numbers in the uh, description for you. Then um, the trim on it, I used, this is was in my stash. This is some vintage um, crochet uh, trim that I have. And um, it was pretty beat up, but I soaked it a few days 
in um, the OxyClean powder. Then I then I washed it and dried it, and then I ironed it. So yeah, it's like like brand new. That OxyClean will make a lot of things beautiful. So yeah, I have quite a bit of that. I put that along the back side of the spine there, and then um, along the edge here. <laughs> so let me go ahead and open it up. And basically it just has one signature, and then it has an envelope in the middle where my I tied off. But every page I used um, her digitals and I made some tags um, and I just filled the pockets with tags. I'll show all the dye um, uh, packages for the tags at the end. So I just wanted to fill every pocket with tags, different style tags that not everybody has. Here I used the decorative trim. I know it looks like lace, but it's um, the Sizzix, um, I believe this is the crochet, yeah, crochet uh, die. This is a really cool die. And you'll see that throughout. This is one of the pockets that was in the kit. And then I tuck some um, tags in there. And then this is one of the background lines paper. Um, I just cut it out to fit on the page. Uh, I did put trim uh, behind here because I used, for my base, I used um, tea stained uh, file folder for the base. Uh, let's see if I have that right here. And then this um, trim that's in here, just, just to give it something in the background, I use this. I have quite a bit of this. I only took some off just to roll it on here. But this is just some vintage trim that's kind of like lacy see-through um, that I got in an estate sale. I got a huge roll of it. So I've been trying to include it in a lot of my orders because it's a big roll. So there's that. Um, so I just put some trim on her little pocket. This was one of the pockets, a corner pocket out of the uh, kit and um, added the trim on there. I sewed around it um, and then glued it on. And the same with these, sewed them and then glued it on. And after I, this was the same uh, shape as the center was the same shape as the outside. But when I cut it out and I put it, was trying to put it together, it, uh, it stuck out too far. So I just chopped it down and then rounded the corners at the top and the bottom so it would be within the book. So I kind of like how that turned out. So there's another uh, digital here, uh, and I just did my clear plastic so you could really see her beautiful kits and put some more trim here. This was in the kit here. Uh, this She has a bunch of sayings um, uh, right here that are beautiful, and um, I just cut that out. And I glued it to uh, some cardstock. Did I glue it to cardstock? No, I didn't. I glued it to, let me grab it. It's right here. I used it a lot. Um, and this I got years ago at my dollar spot store. And I wish I'd have bought a bunch of it. I bought a few packs. And that was back when this stuff was um a dollar each everything a dollar each 16 pages when i first picked it up i'm like what am i going to do with that i really didn't know it's by dcwv it's adhesive fabric so it's basically fabric paper there's a backing on it and you can peel it off so and it has different color tones in here and what I used was this cream color, beigey cream color. 
So I just cut a, put this, I cut a square bigger than my die. I'll show you this one here. This is the Spellbinders um, Candle Wick Rectangles. And I cut a square bigger than that, and then I cut out my image and glued it in there. And then I die cut it out. So I like how that came out because you can feel the fabric. Actually, there's some something stuck to it, but yeah. So this stuff's really cool. I don't know if they still sell this, but it's it's really cool. I like it. So I've been trying to use that up because I have quite a bit of it. So I just put that on there, and then this is um, one of the background pages. I printed on, um, it's, uh, I got a piece of the Hewlett Packer Jet Print Paper, MOMO1289, and it's got a number, it's almost like photo paper, but it's really thin. Thin. It's kind of shiny. It's really cool. I love printing on it. So it makes really uh, nice envelopes. So I saved that little bit, but I had, um, I got a brand new stack of it at um, Goodwill years ago. Um, I think it was $2.99 or whatever. I can't remember, but I just thought it was paper and uh, I knew, I saw the Hewlett Packer and I knew it was specialty paper. So I, I picked it up. So I, may, I printed uh, this out on that, so it has that little shiny feel, like it's really cool paper. And I made an envelope, and then on the inside um, I signed it with a little note there, and then I just made this little fabric um, heart to uh, tuck this in. And I didn't put it up high enough, there we go. So it's a little tricky. And then here's another pocket I made from um, one of the uh, digitals here. I just cut it down. Um, I actually glued it onto that fabric paper. I have a piece of it here. I um, glued the, the image on the back side of the fabric paper. So you can kind of feel the fabric on the back side. It kind of makes it pliable. But I used one of my dies to cut that out. And I didn't pull that die out. Hang on one sec. It's this one right here. Um, bracket sleeve pocket. And I just used half of it. So I like that die. So there's that. And then I used, again, the background with lines, some more of that um, trim in the background. These are the tags that were in there. And then here's another pocket here that has um, the clear plastic, and I did the, the paper trim on there. And here's another stack of um, tags. And I tied them together because they all come as a set. They're all from the same uh, die set. And I have a tip about when you're stringing a bunch of tiny little tags, you know how they fall off and you can't get them all to stay. Uh, here's a tag here. And I'll show you what I do because um, I have arthritis and I don't hang on to things very well. You could get these in the uh, bead making uh, section. They're like for beaters to hold on to your string so your beads don't fall off. And you push on it and it opens up. It's like a spring. You've probably seen it. And you can stick this in there. Oops, I didn't get them both in there. This, it's really made for like beading string. So this is a little bit thicker, but it does work for me. Um, but not when I'm on camera though. <laughs> but you kind of get the idea. You just push your string in there. There we go. And it'll hang on to it. And you can even use this when you're um, tying in your signatures as well. It can hang on to that 
last little bit of string so it doesn't pull through. Then I go through and I string on all of my tags and see it's not going to pull through and I can keep layering them and then when I'm done before I take this off while I have all my tags on there then I run then I pull it through and then take that off and I have all my tags because usually what happens I start stacking them and then they fall off I gotta start over gotta start over but this little thing will hang on to any kind of string if I don't have a lot of strength so but you can push it open and your your string will go in there and hang on to it for you so it would work really well when you're um, uh, sewing in your signatures you can hang on to that last little bit if you're worried about it because I'm a little bit aggressive uh, when it comes to doing that type of thing so so it's just a little tip <clears throat> so I kept all of these together and just tied a string on there so they wouldn't be all over and I really didn't want to package anything I just wanted to be able to slip them in the pocket you can still see the beautiful images and there's your tags same with these here this is another set of tags that go together they're from the same die cut set really like this set and it has tiny little tags in there too so I did that and then I have some taller tags in the background there's another image there and then a pocket there and that's it but I did um, emboss uh, the image um, I printed out on avocado dyed paper then I glued it to regular cardstock, just uh, 65 pound cardstock, and ran it through my um, embossing folder. I have the extra large embossing folder, so I can go pretty large. I use this one here. And this is by, these are by Sizzix. They don't make them anymore. I wish they would. Um, I have, I think, all of the ones that they have made. Yeah, they have Textured Impression Plus. And I do have this listing in my shop. You can get any of the cardstock colors and you get, um, I think you get one of each. And there are two, three, four, five. I have five different ones. So I'm just gonna I just keep them in here and keep them all together but yeah you can go pretty large with these I don't know what the size is I think it's uh, not quite 12 uh, for the embossing part it's just about 11 and a half by eight eight by eleven and a half and these are Sizzix you can still find these on eBay if you get lucky so I use that and that worked out really well so once I um, was able to um, once I embossed it I had my um, top frame and that's how this die set is it has different layers which I like about it because you can have your background it it's like a book uh, I've shared this before it has the background and I wished I would have went with the bigger size um, yeah but I kind of like how small this is but um, yeah it's I think it's perfect for a tag book but you have your background which makes your book this part does not cut so whatever you're cutting you fold in half and I think that's where I was running into trouble because I wanted to use the um, tea stain file folders and I couldn't get them to work out so and then this is the next 
that would go for your decoration on top that you could use. You don't have to, but, and what I like about it is it's stitched. So I use the next size down. But for this size here, you need the Big Shot Plus, the, the big machine for this, to cut this. But for this size, I cut it on my regular um, Big Shot it worked on there and then it then it has a memory saw little die set in there so this is a really cool set you could probably find this on uh, eBay I think I'm not sure if they still sell it in the shop in the on tonic but my daughter got me that for I can't remember when but yeah I hadn't used it because I didn't have a machine big enough and then my son got me a bigger machine, so I was able to use it. But I really like it. Um, <clears throat> so I use that. I'll go through the tags. These little tags here, I like them because they have a little scalloped uh, edge. I use this set here. It's by Gemini. It's a three set, but um, it has like a border die and a tag. I mostly just use the tag. And then these tags here, and these tags are cut out of um, the um, Recollection 65 pound in the uh, in the blush, and I get that at Michaels. These tags here are cottage cuts. It comes with um, butterfly, a bird, and a rose that you can put on top. And here's my uh, instructions on uh, size for cutting out and everything and what it would look like to put them together. It's a really uh, pretty die for a tag and everything. You don't have to put these on top. Um, you could put other things on there. But yeah, I really like that tag set so there's that and then let's see I already showed that oh this big tag here this is an old red uh, Sizzix uh, tag it's a super scallop tag whoopsie so yeah there's the number there Usually you can find these, still find these on uh, eBay. So I really like it because it's a nice big, big, big tag. So there's that one. And let's see. This tag here is right here. And I think it's photo play. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure where I found this. It might have been at a yard sale. I'm not really sure. But um, it's this one here. It just cuts that out. It has an, another one there, but I just cut that one out. And then these here. I like these because they're nice, skinny, um, tall tags. And that is Spellbinders, Our Daily Bread, and I believe it's called uh, Bookmark uh, Tags. And it comes with this one here, and this one, other one here, and then it comes with this one here that's like a uh, paper clip. So, I just did the skinnier tags. And then... This set here is by Sizzix here, um, and I did all of them, you know, and then I just um, tied them all together. The, oh, tags number three is what it's called, but these are all my samples, what they look like. This is how I package everything. I love it. It's really working out for me. This set here... Um, is an unbranded set. It came with a bunch of other stuff that I got on um, Amazon. 
so I really don't know. Um, I try not to buy unbranded, but um, this set works really well. And it has the different layers, different sizes. So, And I like that it's stitched. I like the stitched um, dies. So there's that. This is my new favorite. This is by Sizzix, and it's their framed tags. And it comes with uh, three different size of hole reinforcers as well. Really love this set. And um, it just puts a framed uh, border uh, around the tags. Really nice. I was going to double up these tags and make them thick, but um, I thought I'm just going to keep them at 65 pound paper because uh, uh, whoever gets this, they might want to layer things on it, stamp on them, collage, or whatever. So I just left them at the 65 pound. Because a lot of times if I give a tag, I'll double up the paper, then die cut it out so it's pretty strong. So, so that's that. Oh, and the little heart. This is another unbranded that came with this one here. Um, is what I used uh, to make this heart and I just used some wide lace uh, this is a train wreck um, this is just and I have cut a flower out of it before but this is just some wide lace trim that I glued to some paper and I just cut a heart out of it um, and then I cut a heart out of um, regular cardstock and glued the two together to make it, you know, have some stability. But yeah, I like that. I had something else on there and ripped it off. So yeah. But there's that. Oops. And let's see. Oh yeah. So there's that. So I'm really happy how it came out. I had a lot of things that I took apart. I didn't like my closure. And I thought, well, I want to start making journals. I have started some, but they're nowhere near to completion or anything. I need to work on um, closures, what to do about closures. I need to think about that and I'm over my fear of sewing in uh, signatures and now it's the closure thing so yeah but this feels really good in the hand it's really thick so it will protect all of the tags really well so I hope um, I did the digital kit um, you know well i hope i did it well portrayed it well so yeah but i like how that came out and i'm glad i embossed this uh front cover because it just gave it it just gave it something that it needed and um i did have another uh closure on here and ripped that off last night and which led to i had to put trim here so yeah there's a lot happening so there's that and I'll put that back on later. I wanted to show one other thing because I had a comment on my um, Etsy about putting um, ribbon trim on things and you know um, where do I get my ribbons? I have a lot of ribbon that I had um, from years ago and I'm trying to use that up but over this past weekend, my husband took me to our Dollar Spot store, and they always have like weird things. They never have the same thing all the time. But I spotted this, and they only had one of them. And of course, everything's a dollar twenty-five now. But this is ribbon. There's a hundred yards here. This was a dollar twenty-five, and it's white. So I picked it up. I haven't opened it. But I can use it for packaging. And lately I've 
I've been using it on my little um, tiny envelopes that I that I make. I've got some serious tape on there. It's a little. The first part will be a little sticky. Let me just cut that off. I'm just gonna cut this off. I mean, this is really, really good ribbon. So see, a dollar twenty-five. I've got a hundred yards. So that's a really good deal. So yeah, that's really nice, nice ribbon. So I'll be using that. I have a couple colors. I don't buy, you know, a lot of it. Only if I see a color that I know that I will use. But yeah, this has uh, turned out to be really a good deal. When I saw it, I was like, oh, that's white. I hardly ever see white, you know, where you could, I don't know, I could experiment and, and try to color it with my inks or oxides. I'm not really sure, but yeah. I don't know how it would take color, but that's a lot of ribbon. So yeah, I will share it. It says made in the United States. Go figure. Half inch, 100 yards. It is 100% polyester, but um, it's great for crafting. So um, yeah, that's, that's how I can put uh, ribbon on things that I package up. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I just wanted to share my little booklet here because I, I need to get it in the mail. And um, yeah, so go over to um, a Jewel Design Jolene. She's got a new kit out and it's, um, I forget what the name of it is, but it's pink. A lot of pink. Pink Parisian. Yeah, pink Parisian. And let me tell you, I don't know how many, I didn't count, but I know there was a lot of pages. For the price, you get a lot. You really get a lot. I had trouble, print. it took me a day to print everything out. So yeah, it comes with, um, this one here comes with different um, colors. There's all kinds of stuff. Really beautiful. I didn't really get to use it all. This here is printed on... Um, this is where I printed her onto uh, the tracing paper. But this is the 45 pound. And when I run it through my printer, I have the Epson. I let it sit for a minute and dry. Otherwise, it's like shiny. Other, and, But after that, it's beautiful. So I've got all these to still play with. I had printed it on that fabric paper. This is on the fabric paper. And I didn't like it because it was blurry. And then this is just on, is this on that? This is on that um, jet print paper. So yeah, a bunch of things. This is on the fabric paper. So yeah, there's blues. There's blue theme in here as well. There's yellows. So it's a really cool kit. You get pockets. There's so many things. I, I didn't have time to go through everything and use everything, but I still have a lot of things to, to play with here. So there's that, uh, my share, and I'm going to get this off in the mail. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you an idea on some things. So, all right. Take care. Bye.